Night, page 43. The pillow, like a mound of grass under my head, is good comfort, and the blanket is warm as afternoon sun, but still I can't sleep. Ganwar lies without moving, but I know somehow he is not sleeping either. After a while, Ganwar sits up on his elbows. He's just a shadow to my eyes. What's that cloth you're holding? He asks. It's from the camp, I say. It's true, true enough. I don't want to say the whole truth. Are you glad that you're here, Ganwar? I ask. He breathes in and out, in and out. This is a good land, he says. There's great freedom here, but even when you travel far, the ghosts don't stay behind. They follow you. You can come here to make a new life, but the old life is still haunting you. We don't say anything for a few minutes. Finally, Ganwar speaks. They're all gone, Keck. They're all dead. I want to hate Ganwar for his words, but I'm too weary for anger. Already there are so many people to hate. Too many. Not all, I finally whisper. Not Mama. He sighs. It isn't good to fool yourself. I've learned that much. Hoping isn't foolish, I say. If I can make it all the way here, then anything can happen. He shakes his head. Crazy boy, Ganwar says. Hoping doesn't make a thing true. Remember when you were no taller than my knee and you thought you could talk to the cattle? They listened, I say. They just didn't answer. How about when you believed you could fly? Remember how you jumped from the top of the acacia tree? I still have the scar on my elbow, I say. And anyway, the flying part was fun. Only the landing was troublesome. You can't make yourself a bird keck. Some things will never be. A man does not give up, I say. A man knows when he is defeated, Ganwar replies. I wipe away a tear with a soft cloth in my hand. I don't answer. I'm afraid of what the answer might be.